Fen had her second fitting at the bridal salon for her upcoming wedding. Bringing out her scissors would disrupt a peaceful event. As the day unfolded, Fen was shocked. It surprised her. Fen's second fitting was scheduled on January the 9th at one of Chongqing's top bridal salons. Her fitting was supposed to take an hour, but she was hidden behind a staff member for much longer. A staff member took Fen to her stylist as soon as she arrived. She saw a woman arguing with the salon's main counter as she was led to the dressing rooms. Fen gave the woman who turned to face her one last glare, unaware of what was happening. Fen took her dress from the stylist and entered the dressing room, feeling the tension. She overheard the stylist's conversation with the staff because she's curious. She dropped her dress mid-dressing after hearing something she shouldn't have. Fen exited with her wedding dress. As she replayed the staff member's compliments in her head, Fen could barely say thank you. This isn't the first time she's demanded something unreasonable, but something is very wrong with her. We're not telling anyone. Her last sentence stood out. We have the police on speed dial if she does anything. Fen heard this exact phrase. Another woman getting her dress fitted joined in as Fen's stylist took measurements for further improvements. If you like my videos, don't forget to like or subscribe. Thanks in advance. The woman's account confused Fen. She said it started for months after booking wedding arrangements. The bride requested postponement. Three months later, she wanted to cancel and get her deposit back. As the woman was allegedly expecting a baby, the shop refused and offered to arrange a 100-day celebration. After calming down, the salon erupted. Fen tried to focus on her fitting when the stylist and staff member dropped their kits and ran away. Fen froze, confused. Fen bravely turned toward the commotion. Optimistic. Worrying. Fen saw the woman after trembling around. She rejected logic. She has no rationality. Since there was no protocol, the staff was a mess trying not to upset the woman. She suddenly pulled out a sharp object. Fen instinctively hid behind a staff member, unsure of the outcome. Fen silently watched the woman enter the dress aisle. She cut dresses individually. Fen fiercely guarded her dress. It was a nightmare, every dress in these aisles could have been a woman's dream. Someone's wedding dress. One staff member braved the dress terrorizer. Clarify. One of the staff members tried to persuade the woman while someone filmed the scene. She retorted. Thousands? Even several ten thousands is fine. She crept closer to Fen as she cut all the dresses in one rack. Police sirens sounded on time. Police sirens never made Fen happier. The police quickly removed the woman from the salon, preventing further damage. The salon was destroyed, but not the end. She was arrested at the station. Police reported 32 dresses destroyed. The destroyed dresses cost 70,000 yuan, $11,000. The shop owner spoke to the media about the aftermath. The shopkeeper said the bride's mother made the mess. The groom offered the store over 60,000 yuan, or $9,420. He still hasn't paid. Everyone commented on the incident. The woman's dress destroying video leaked. The same video was soon shown on several news channels covering the incident. Everyone commented on the absurdity of the events that broke down, making headlines. Nobody knew a global incident was coming. A young bride was preparing for the best day of her life many miles from the dress incident. As her wedding team prepared, Amy counted every second. She had no idea a terrifying event would precede the ceremony. Amy, like most brides, did everything she could to make her wedding memorable. Her dream wedding cost her everything. The winter fairytale ceremony was supposed to have all kinds of fee. Amy planned everything, from outfits to hairstyles and seating. But her dressing room would cause unimaginable chaos. Amy, like many girls worldwide, dreamed of a perfect wedding. Amy, a successful businesswoman, wanted to marry Mark, her soulmate. She hired the city's top wedding planners. One of them would cause the most terrifying wedding day incident. 
Amy's incident was more personal than fans, which involved wedding dresses. Fire and hair would scare her. Her hair. Amy went as an elven ice queen for her fee-themed wedding. One stylist in the city could do her complicated hairstyle. Amy was unaware of her fate. The hairstyle was a stunning crown of hundreds of delicate braids that intertwined. It included several steps to achieve, seeing that parts of the hair needed dyeing while others were to be beautified with pearls among other jewels. Amy's wedding outfit star was this. For a different reason. The big day arrived after months of planning and postponing. Amy woke up ready to take her fiancé's surname after a fun night with friends and family. Her best friends, sisters, cousins, aunts, and mom helped prepare. Amy's most important day had just dawned. Each counting second brought the nightmare closer. Amy and her family grabbed breakfast. She listened to her and her fiancé's grandmother's marriage advice as they walked. She thanked them and ran back to her villa for a bath and long preparations. Her next event was unanticipated. Amy's bridal party had a lovely morning. They double-checked the reception food, venue, and dresses. Amy applied makeup and hair after a bath. She couldn't wait to see her stylist realize her dream. She would be left with a burning head and a panicked bridal party trying to fix things. Amy, like any bride, stole the show. Her stylists pampered her in her private room. Her hairstylist and makeup artist followed. They wanted Amy to be an elven princess that day. They started immediately. Hair and makeup started well. Amy drank orange juice while her team treated her. She saw her dream in the mirror every second. The makeup artist finished quickly, adding a few finishing touches after the hairstylist. If only Amy knew what the stylist wanted. After an hour, Amy's maid of honor rushed in to speak to her alone. She asked the two dressers to leave, looking worried. She gasped for a few agonizing minutes, raising Amy's anxiety and worry. Okay? Is everything okay? Amy asked, keeping her cool. The day had started so well that she didn't know what she'd do if anything went wrong. Her maid of honor bit her lip and avoided eye contact before saying something that made Amy jump out of her seat. One of the other stylists say your hairdresser was Mark's ex-girlfriend, the maid of honor said. What? Amy croaked and leapt to her feet, pulling her hair out of its bun. Amy never looked up the hairstylist her fiancé had mentioned dating. How likely was it that she was her wedding day hairdresser? Amy was about to storm out of her room when her mom, accompanied by Mark's mom, walked in. They asked why she wasn't ready yet, stating that they still had a lot of things to tend to before the ceremony started. They summoned the hairstylist to finish. The hairstylist nodded at the women and resumed her work. She then lit a lighter from her bag and threw it into Amy's hair. Screaming Amy froze. Burning hair. Before she could escape, the fire died. She was shaking as her bridal party entered. Her hair survived. Amy saw nothing more beautiful. She stared at herself, confused. The stylist smiled and wished her well. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again in the next video.